Hi everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick and here's your political news roundup for Thursday, January 21st. The country's biggest banks are squarely in President Obama's crosshairs. The president proposed clamping new broad rules on the size of banks and the way they can do business. He said the banks took huge reckless risks in pursuit of profits and in so doing nearly brought down the American economy. Under Obama's plan, bank holding companies would be prohibited from owning, investing in, or sponsoring hedge funds or private equity funds. He also wants to place a tighter cap on the amount of liabilities carried by those banks. The changes do require approval from Congress, and Republicans on Capitol Hill as well as the banking industry are already promising a fight. The Supreme Court cleared the way today for businesses, unions, and nonprofit groups to spend money on federal elections. The ruling allows the groups to buy campaign ads and other items to promote candidates or political causes. It was a narrow 5-4 decision by the High Court. It said corporations, nonprofit groups, and others share the same First Amendment freedoms of expression as individuals. Up to now, political expenditures by those groups were strictly regulated. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi cast more doubt today on whether health reform legislation will get passed anytime soon. Pelosi told reporters she just doesn't have the votes in the House to approve the broad reform package already approved in the Senate. Pelosi and others are now preaching a slow-down approach to health reform. Tuesday's stunning win by Republican Scott Brown in the Massachusetts Senate election sent a message, they say, that the American public is not satisfied with the current direction of the reform movement. Speaking of Brown, the newly elected senator arrived on Capitol Hill today. He met with Arizona Senator John McCain and Democratic Massachusetts Senator John Kerry. Majority Leader Harry Reid is also on that list. Brown told reporters he expects to be formally seated as a senator next week. And overseas, Great Britain announced it was halting commercial air flights to Yemen and expanding its passenger watch list and no-fly list. The moves come in response to the unsuccessful attempt by a man to blow up a Detroit-bound airliner on Christmas Day. The suspect has ties to an al-Qaeda terrorist group based in Yemen. That's your political roundup for Thursday, January 21st. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.